head up tilt test known as HUT or tilt table test is commonly done for the evaluation of neurocardiogenic syncope, example vasovagal syncope. Various protocols are followed in different centers. One protocol is as follows. The subject is strapped to the tilt table after venous and arterial access is obtained. Radial arterial access is used for continuous blood pressure monitoring as non-invasive recordings are often inaccurate and difficult to make at the time of syncope. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. But the radial cannulation is invasive and may not be acceptable for all. Moreover, the pain can induce syncope in those prone for it. Beat to beat non-invasive blood pressure monitoring with finger cuff is useful but often not available. Infusion pump is also set up to give isoprenaline infusion if required. Resuscitation tray and personnel are at hand during the test. ECG, pulse oximetry and invasive blood pressure are monitored throughout and the hemodynamic response is also charted. Initial supine phase is for 30 minutes which is followed by a tilt phase of 20 minutes at an angle of 70 degrees. If syncope does not occur during this period, the table is brought to the supine position for a period of 10 minutes. After that, isoprenaline infusion is started at a rate of 1 microgram per minute. The drip is run for 10 minutes with the table tilted at 80 degrees. Still, if syncope does not occur within 10 minutes, the table is brought back to the supine position for 10 minutes. The test is repeated at 3 and 5 micrograms per minute of isoprenaline with intervening 10 minutes of supine position if needed. If there is no syncope, the test is considered negative. Syncope can occur at any of the above stages either with bradycardia, hypotension or both. The first one is called cardio inhibitory, second one vasodepressor and the third mixed variety. A change in the pattern of heart response with age has been described with cardio inhibitory response becoming less common with advancing age. This difference is thought to be due to the higher vagal activity in younger age promoting more of cardio inhibitory responses. Vasovagal syncope international study had classified syncope into vasus 1 mixed, vasus 2a and 2b cardio inhibitory and vasus 3 vasodepressive varieties depending on the result of the head-up tilt test. Further modifications were suggested by Brignol M and Associates. Prognostic significance of unduly prolonged asystole of 30 or more seconds during head-up tilt has been studied by Carvalho and Associates. In their study of 2,247 patients, 149 had asystole of which 11 had 30 or more seconds of asystole. The longest pause recorded in their study was 63 seconds. None of these patients had received a pacemaker in this retrospective study. Four patients had recurrence of syncope after a follow-up period which ranged from 30 to 76 months. One had scalp laceration related to the syncope and no patient died in this study. Nine different hemodynamic patterns in response to head up tilt test in pediatric patients have been described by Yosgut and Associates after assessment of 400 pediatric patients. These responses include postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome in addition to the usual head up tilt test responses. There are some authors who feel that head up tilt test is not useful and should be abolished. Indications for HUT in syncope include 1. Recurrent syncope or pre-syncope 2. High-risk patients with single syncopal episode example serious injury with syncope, syncope while driving 3. No other cause for symptoms by history, examination or cardiovascular and neurological workup 4. Elderly patients with recurrent unexplained falls 5. For the differential diagnosis of convulsive syncope orthostatic hypotension, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, psychogenic syncope, hyperventilation syncope, and carotid sinus hypersensitivity. Relative contraindications for HUT include 1. Severe left ventricular outflow obstruction 
ടു ക്രിട്ടിക്കൽ മൈട്രൽ സ്നോസിസ് ത്രീ സിവിയർ പ്രോക്സിമൽ കൊറോണറി ആർട്ടറി ഡിസീസ് ആൻഡ് ഫോർ സിവിയർ സെർബ്രോവാസ്കുലർ ഡിസീസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് സെറ്റ് ഓഫ് റെഫറൻസസ് ഓൺ ഹട്ട് സെക്കൻഡ് സെറ്റ് ഓഫ് റെഫറൻസസ് ഓൺ ഹെഡ് അപ് ടിൽ ടെസ്റ്റ് പ്ലീസ് ഡോണ്ട് ഫോർഗെറ്റ് ടു സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ടു ദിസ് ചാനൽ ഫോർ ഫ്യൂച്ചർ അപ്ഡേറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് ക്ലിക്ക് ഓൺ ദി ബെൽ ഐക്കൺ ഫോർ ഓൾ അപ്ഡേറ്റ്